Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino here, back with another video. Today we'll only be playing uh, one battle, uh, just one random battle on the rank ladder of OU. Uh, I'll be using the same team uh, I used in the previous videos, uh, with the Arena Class, uh, with Protect and Encore. Uh, the Needle Queen as well, uh, pretty cool man actually, pretty cool man. And the Porygon too, this time with the Trace ability. Uh, I did use an ability capsule guys. But now we do have the trace, and this is how the team is supposed to be. Um, yeah, if you are interested in the team, guys, uh, there's a poker paste link in my Discord server. I, it's all linked down in the description if you check it out. If you can check it out, and yeah, uh, I'm just gonna pause the video till the battle starts, and yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. The battle is about to start, and let's see what we'll get this time. Okay, uh, pretty cool team. Uh, Swampert, Salamence, Scizor. Scizor is pretty strong eh? against my team. <laughs> Big threat. He does have a Tyranitar next to it, so it's gonna be rough for my Reuniclus, but I still think Reuniclus is important. However, I'm gonna lead with my Conkeldar, because he has a lot of offensive pressure. And he decides to lead with Inferno. I don't know if this is a Stellrock um, lead, but I am going to bring in my Needle Queen. Because we can trade stealth rocks if he is rocks, and if he U turns, poison point could be a thing. If he overheats, we are specially defensive, and he does U turn, and we get the poison point. I mean, it's a 30% chance, guys. And obviously, we don't take much from U turn. I think it could be Scarf. At least that's not Choice Bennett. He didn't show Life Orb, so Scarf is definitely an option. And he goes into the Tyranitar. Hmm. I'm gonna Stealth Rock because Ice Punch is not knocking me out even if he's Bandit. The Ice Beam is definitely not gonna knock me out, so... Uh, let's see what he does. So it, it, it is his Stealth Rocker, so I assume he's a... It's a bulky Tyranitar with Stealth Rock. Uh, but yeah, with the left... Uh, with the Black Sludge, we're full HP again. And I'm gonna click Toxic here. As he actually stays, so he's not fearing Earthquake at all. Uh, he goes for Crunch. Doesn't do that much, so yeah, I think it's a bulky defensive, especially defensive Tarantar. Um, but with Stealth Rock up now, um, I am going to go for the Earthquake. The Toxic is also really nice on the Tarantar because Reuniclus can basically one if we want it now. Uh, he goes into the Scissor, uh, so curious what kind of Scissor this is going to be. Earthquake does quite a bit of damage, considering we're not infested into attack. But he does show leftovers, so Sword Sense is definitely an option. I don't think he's gonna U turn because he'll be losing a lot if I Earthquake there. Just for you to. So I'm gonna bring in Salamis. I expect a Roost or something. But I went for Sword Sense, that boy. If I went for Earthquake, it would have been 2 hit KO right there. Because <laughs> he wouldn't kill me with the Bullet Punch from where my Nita Queen was at. But yeah. I am free to defogger, there's no way he's gonna stay in. And he brings in the Swampert. Okay. So. Swampert could have Ice Beam. Must be a reason why he brings it in against my Salamence. So I'm not gonna stay in to Toxic him. Um, I think Porygon 2 is a pretty safe play. Because I can teleport on the next turn. And basically see what he does. We don't see leftovers on him, by the way. So. There is what kind of swamp it's going to be. Just for Ice Punch. We did up like a boss. And we can teleport now. He does end up switching into the Tyranitar. So, a uh, really huge turn for us. And just like first turn, uh, Conkelder does have a lot of offensive pressure against him. But he does have the Salamence. Um, but yeah, we, the Tyranitar doesn't have Chuppleberry. Doesn't have Focus Sash. Focus Sash counter. <laughs> Play it once. <laughs> Pretty cool. But he has leftovers, so there's no way. I'm gonna double into Needle Queen. Because uh, he's most likely going to switch. But if he does stay in and goes for rocks, I can get up my own rocks. He did actually stay in. That's crazy. <laughs> he could have died there. Uh, but yeah, some people just try way too hard predicting. Um, but this is fine, we just tread rocks. However, rocks are still better for him than for me, because I do need my Salamence. He doesn't really need it this game. 
So there's a difference. But I'm gonna go for Toxic. Because, yes, nice. I wanted to catch either the Salamence or the Swampert. Because uh, he, he knows I have Earthquake there. And... This or Couldn't take too much there. And Toxic King Swampert is really nice. Um, I'm gonna bring in Uniclus here. As he goes for Ice Punch, perfect. He gets gains Rocky Helmet Chip. A poison. And no leftovers on him, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can just recover here. As he goes Scizor, yeah, he must might he might be fearing the Focus Blast, that's why he didn't go to Ren straight to Renatar. But what I'm actually gonna do this turn, uh, he's not Choice Bandit, so we can take the U turn pretty decently. We can take it pretty decently. So, I want to bring in Mance, but if he does switch or U-turn, um, it's awkward because it c comes in on rocks, you know. I'm going to Encore him. As he Source Dance, perfect. So, he has to stay in and Source Dance. It's cool. Oh, now I kind of expect him to switch out there. Uh, so what we could do... I'm gonna bring a Needle Queen because he might switch into something to take on my Reuniclus. As he so <laughs> Okay, he stays in. Um, that's... He gets plus 4, but he's still uh, locked into Swords Dance two more turns, so we can still get gain a free switch here. Um, really didn't think he would do it. But I guess he's gaining leftovers. And he has everything alive. But I'm going Salamence now. And he should still be locked in uh, for one turn. I th he's plus 5 now, so... Um, don't feel like messing around with this. I'm just gonna flamethrower. Because if I defog on another sword sense, it might be over. He goes into his own mans. Dragon God. Does that mean something? Is this... <laughs> Dragon God. I, that's why you shouldn't look at the names. I'm just gonna go Needle Queen here. In case he goes for Dragon Pulse, we can get up our rocks or go for the Moonlight. Oh, it's, dra oh, it's physical! And he crits me, no! Oh, that's not good. Because this is my Stealth Rocker, guys. And this is also my check to Gengar. Ooh. Now I'm in a rough position. I have to bring in my uh, my uh, Oregon, too. Luckily, we do have to Trace, so we uh, Trace the Intimidate. Man. And <laughs> the Dragon Claw literally did nothing. Okay. I'm gonna double into Salamence, because this is the turn he needs to bring in Scizor. Yeah. Because he could have gone uh, Tyranitar, but that wouldn't have gained him much, because it's a defensive Tyranitar. So, this is really important that I went Salamence here, because... Now I'll be able to deep, because I really need those Stealth Rocks gone. And he's definitely not, not gonna stay in. So we just deep bug these away. Had I gone for a Roost, that could have been really awkward, because if he Swords Dances there... Uh... He could basically set up on my Oregon 2 with two Source Dances. But then now Gengar comes in and this is the scary thing, man. He might Focus Blast here though, uh, but I'm gonna bring in my Oregon 2. Maybe we can... Maybe we can uh, curse Buddy his Focus Blast and then get a free Tyranitar. Fortunately... We don't get it. <laughs> but Reuniclus should still be able to take most of his team on, so not too worried there. Uh, so, but Porygon 2 would have still been nice against the Salamence. However, now I'm gonna bring in Tyranitar. And I'm just gonna click Pursuit. But he does get the Curse Body off. And he tried to sub. Okay. C 
see what I do, I guess. But yeah, I'm choice card. However, he cannot switch out because uh, I cannot click pursue. So I'm gonna go Nido Queen. Struggle still kills him if if I go for Struggle. Struggle still hits ghost types. He goes for Shadow Ball. Okay. Well, uh, interesting. I guess he thought that Struggle wouldn't hit him, but Struggle would have killed him. Okay. Back into Tyranitar, I guess. I do need to pursue this because I have literally have no switch for this now. So we knocked this out. I would have liked to sack Needle Queen on something else though. But yeah, <laughs> he could he could body proc me two times. Um I have to go straight into Renaclus. He dragon dances. Um with the rocky helmet I should be able to two hit KO him. And he should not be able to two hit KO me. So we psychic here. But we do need to preserve enough health to take on the re uh, the Infernape. And Dragon Claws me. Yeah, that should be a two hit KO. Plus with the Spadev drop. Dance storm and stone. However, I'm not gonna knock him out now, I'm gonna recover. Is it he does Dragon Dance on my recover, however, if I Psychic on his Dragon Claw, my Renaclus would have been super low. But now I will have a bit less health than I had uh, a, a turn before, so it's still better for me uh, overall. So I'm gonna Psychic now. This should do like 60% or something. A bit more, <laughs> but still some decent health. And we knock out the Salamence, so that works out really well. He goes to Renathar now. Um, I'm gonna recover here. As he goes for a rock, so he doesn't crunch me. He really wanted those rocks up, but I need Reuniclus healthy. Uh, if he crunched me, it wouldn't have been the biggest deal because I could have got in my Conkelder there. But yeah, Reuniclus is now alive. Um. I'm gonna recover here as he crunches. And because he's. This is a funny thing. Uh, this is how Reuniclus can 1v1 those stun Renatars. Because um, if they. Usually, if I'm facing Choice Bandit or Renatar, I just click Protect uh, to scout whether they go for Pursuit or Crunch. And if they click Pursuit, we just recover spam and they die to Rocky Helmet. I did a few games before when I wasn't recording, unfortunately. Um, but this set really works. However, I don't want to stay in too long, so I'm going to go to Renatar in case he switches into Scissor or something. We can throw off a superpower, uh, but if he stays in and crunches us, it doesn't do too much. So, And now uh, we get that superpower off, because that Scissor might not be Roost. He might be Source Dance 3 attacks. So otherwise, he would have Roosted earlier, most likely, because he went for that Source Dance play. Um, but... Yeah, so we superpower here, and otherwise we knock out Tyranitar, which is also really good for us. Uh, so that way you won't be able to get up rocks, and I only need to get off my debug. And Sandstorm should end soon. He does bring in the Scissor, and all I can really do is go straight into Salamence. With the Intimidate, I shouldn't die. I shouldn't get to it KO'd. He sword stands, so he's only at plus two, plus one because I intimidated, and the sandstorm is gone. And with that extra leftovers recovery, we should be able to live a bullet punch. So this is why I like leftovers more on defog uh, elements, because most of the times you have to come in on stealth rocks to defog them away, and then leftovers really helps. Because yeah, leftovers made the difference there. If I was rocky helmet, he probably he would have killed me much earlier. But yeah. Uh, we're at some nice health there. Uh, I am actually gonna recover once more. A uh, roost once more. And he doesn't bullet punch me. If he source dances, it's completely fine. We just flamethrower. He cannot kill us uh, from full HP there. He goes for a bug bite instead. Uh, predicting a roost, but we're still at half HP after leftovers. And I'm still gonna roost as he bullet punches. And. Now, after leftovers, I should be at some decent health. So, 
I am going to claim Tora now. Because I think Kunkelder can also just kill this with close combat. Uh, so we just flame Tora. Because we can defog on anything else he comes in. And he decides to stay in and knock us out, and we knock him out. So now we don't even need to defog anymore. Reuniclus should be able to clean this game up. He goes into the Infernape. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in there. Don't want him nasty plotting or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna roost as he stun edges. Uh, could still be Scarf, guys. Could still be Scarf. He's gonna take that poison damage. And I can just go Reuniclus here. And what I'll do is just recover. And if he switches, I'll be full HP. If he stays in, I will easily take the attack, yeah. Uh, I just didn't want to attack him. Because uh, if I did attack him, uh, Reuniclus would have been low against the Swamp. Because we didn't see leftovers on this, so I'm still not sure what kind of Swamp it this is. But we can just uh, protect. Because he's gonna die to the poison eventually. He's on a timer. He goes for Earthquake. And again, I'm not gonna attack him. Because he's he's gonna he's gonna drop anyway. Um, but for me, it's important to keep Reuniclus as high as possible. And that Earthquake actually did a lot. Oh my god, is he Choice Bandit? Is he Choice... That's cool, man. <laughs> choice Bandit Swampert. Um, let's see, do we... Re cover or do we protect because if I protect the protect can fail against Infernape but I'm gonna go Tyranitar instead then because uh, Tyranitar won't do much anyway uh, especially if Infernape is Scarf and I summon the Sandstorm because the um, the Swampert is gonna die on this turn anyway to the poison and he switched to Infernape there uh, I could have seen if he was scarf. If he wasn't scarfed, I would have outsped if he mock punched me there. Uh, Reuniclus just comes in. And now I can bring in my Conkelder. I do have to play more back to Vader. I'm just gonna mock punch him twice. Even if he does knock me out, we can just click protect with Reuniclus and uh, that should be enough next turn. Goes for Flamethrower. Did a lot, but that, that's Blaze. So I think it's, it was scarfed in Fernape. Yeah, even if he had killed us, look at this. And then. We, we come in next turn with Reuniclus and just click Protect and win. Uh, but yeah, now we just mock Punch him. He didn't mock Punch us, I assume he's Choice Scarf. And we win this game, so yeah. A uh, pretty close game. Um, yeah, again, uh, I prefer the Tyranitar sec at the end instead of uh, clicking Recover. Um, maybe he would have crit me, uh, maybe he would have switch whatever it, it didn't matter because i didn't need to run it to win i had concaliber in the back uh and that sandstorm just was well, some extra damage against the infernape and then i will with one of them dead i know reuniclus can always 1v1 the other at full hp and that's basically it guys so yeah again uh, i really like the reuniclus set personally uh obviously the size shock focus blast calm mindset is more consistent guys but it's really cool because I also played against a Snorlax who tried to set up <laughs> Curse and we just encore him and Psychic spam. Uh, pretty funny. It's like an anti setup sweeper, Reuniclus. And yeah, I won't be wanting a lot of scissor, Choice Bandit Scissors, Choice Bandit Tyranitars, Choice Scarf Tyranitars as well. Uh, protecting and then recover spamming on their pursuits and then they are eventually forced to switch out. Um, but yeah, uh, again guys, if you are interested in the team, it's linked down in the description. Uh, make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed already. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And yeah, join my Discord server guys. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.